Good evening. Police have opened fire on a stolen car, hitting the driver just outside of Perth School. The man was shot in the shoulder after the car rammed into a police vehicle. Just metres from a school, this Seville Grove cul-de-sac is the scene of a police shooting. Well, we've heard a big pop and we think that was the gunshot. It was 11 o'clock this morning when officers say they found this stolen Subaru in Preza parked in a driveway. Inside the car, two men. The vehicle started ramming the police vehicle in reverse. Uh, it struck the police vehicle a number of times. Allegedly behind the wheel, 31-year-old Bruce Brockman. Eventually manoeuvred past the police vehicle onto the verge at the front of the premises. That's when the male detective fired his weapon. The round entered the vehicle through the front windscreen and struck the driver in the shoulder. The last resort should be shooting shooting anyone. Why didn't they tozer him? Mr Brockman's family told Nine News he was shot while his two teenage children watched on. The trauma that that's going to impact on the children is going to be massive throughout their lives. A man in his 20s also taken into custody. Police allege he was in the passenger seat and tried to run in the moments before the shooting. It was a laneway adjacent to the house and I believe that's where the passenger fled and he was pursued by the police officer. Cecil Andrews College was locked down. Parents alerted via text message that an incident had occurred outside school but there was no threat to students. There's a crime scene to be examined and I'm aware that there was... Obviously there's forensic evidence in that crime scene that I can't go into here and I won't speculate upon the relevance of that evidence. Officers from the Homicide Squad and Police Internal Affairs Unit are investigating the shooting. The detectives involved are still on the beat. Nathan Brooks, Nine News. Let's go live to Armidale now. Grace Fitzgibbon is there. Grace, what is the latest? <laughs> Well, Michael, police are wrapping up their investigation at the scene, but it's just the beginning of an internal probe, which is required every time police open fire. The officer who pulled the trigger will remain on the job until that probe is complete. As for the 31-year-old man who was shot, he remains in Royal Perth Hospital in a serious but stable condition, and that gunshot wound he suffered to his shoulder is not life-threatening. Police have also not yet charged him. Uh, however, it is alleged that he was travelling in a stolen vehicle and that he repeatedly rammed into a police car. So it is likely that he will be facing charges in the coming days. Now, as for his passenger that was in the car with him, he is in police custody this evening. Michael? Grace, thank you for the update.